God bless you, WME family, and welcome back. And thank you for taking time out of your day to watch these videos, to like them and to share them. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I want to encourage you to go ahead and push that subscribe button because when you do that, that helps us bring the content to you quicker and it helps us with our algorithms and it helps us push out the content. So thank you. And uh, we want to go straight to the Word of God. We've been looking at the uh, book of John, chapter 8, verse beginning in verse 30. And it, it tells us, and he spake these words, many believed on him. This is, of course, uh, Jesus Christ. Uh, uh, he, he spoke uh, these words and they, they impacted the people who were listening. They touched their hearts and they were, they were touched and they were impacted. But they needed to take that second step. There was something that else that they needed to do. In order for them to have successful uh, uh, discipleship, they had to take the next step. And he says here, Then said Jesus to the Jews, which believed on him, If ye continue in my word. And this is something we've, we've, we've been on now of, uh, uh, here in this, these series of programs, is the persistence, is the continuation is not slipping away, is, is standing firm on God's promises, on God's word, and the importance of persistence. Uh, we have a very chaotic world. We have a, very, a world that's uh, uh, in, in utter chaos. Uh, we see the political arena. We see the, the, the world in, 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 in the condition it's in, wars and rumors of wars and, and chaos and inflation and... Uh, we see uh, just so much things that are going on around us, so much instability. Well, it's important to know that in a world of instability, we can find stability in God's Word. We can find inner peace in God's Word. We can find something that we can trust in. And so it says here, And if ye continue in my word, then you are my disciples indeed, and ye shall know the truth. And the truth is the word of God. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. And so we know that God is the truth. His word is truth. And the truth shall make you free. So the more you get into the word of God, the more you persist in his word, the more uh, we're going to be uh, set free, the more we're going we're gonna to have truth imparted into our life. And so discipleship is not a, a one-time, it's not a six-week course. It's not a class that you take. Uh, it's not a Sunday school uh, uh, class. It's a way of life. Discipleship is about continuation. It's about persisting in God's word. It's about uh, uh, staying in, in, in God's word. And so it's not a one-time thing. It's not something that we receive and we're good. Uh, I got it. Thank you. No, it's something that we, we stand firm in. It's something that we, 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 we place our, our hope in. You know, I, I, I was sharing a statistic on our last program about how many people during the pandemic walked away from church, about how many people we have now in, here in America and possibly also in Canada that are, uh, are, are unchurched. They don't know anything about church. They don't know anything about uh, uh, going to church, about uh, walking in the ways of God. And so we have an unchurched society. We, have, uh, we also have a society that has walked away from church. We have a society that's uh, turned their back on the Lord. And that's why we see the chaos we see. That's why we see the craziness we see because people have turned away from the Lord. Well, God's word tells us here that there has to be that persistence. There has to be that continuation. You see, I don't just need, uh, I just didn't need God when I got saved. I need him today. It's not about needing him when I, when I got saved. When I, when I came to Christ, I needed God, but I need him more even so today. So there has to be that persistence. There has to be that ongoing relationship. And so he says, if you continue in my word, then you are my disciples indeed. 
You know, Psalms 119 verse 11 says, Thy precepts have I hid in my heart, have I hid in my heart that I may not sin against thee. Some versions of the Bible say, Thy word have I hid in my heart that I may not sin against thee. And so when you have the word of God in you, when you persist in God's word, it's, it's going to help your, your walk. It's going to help your, your, your walk with Christ. It's going to help your walk with the Lord. And I love what uh, Proverbs says. Proverbs says, in all you're getting, get understanding, get wisdom. And so God's word is wisdom. God's word is life. And this is our map. This is our, 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 our words of encouragement. This is our words of life. This is where we find life. This is where we, we find our blessing. This is where we find our hope. This is where we learn and we're, we're, uh, we're instructed. This is where we receive our inspiration. But there has to be that persistence. There has to be that, that devotion to God's word. And I want to encourage you today to, to be devoted to God's word, to be devoted to Bible study. And, and to get back into the Word of God, to get back into the study of the Scriptures. He says, if you continue in my Word, then are you my disciples indeed, no doubt about it. it and he says, and ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. And that's God's promise to us today. If we stand firm on this Word, if we stand firm on His promises. So I want to encourage you today. Uh, to stand firm on God's word, to stand firm on his promises. Let's go ahead and go to God in prayer. And I pray that this study has been a blessing to your life. And I pray that this study uh, bless your walk with Christ. Father, we just thank you today for all those that are watching. Lord, I ask that you bless their life today, Lord, and that you be with them in a great way, Father. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Don't go anywhere because we have a very important announcement for you and we'll be back with another program so stay tuned in and go ahead and push that subscribe button and we'll be back with some more uh, spiritual content to be a blessing to your life god bless you world missionary evangelism began when johnny douglas senior accepted the challenge of caring for six orphan children in india from this act of love spring a work that has grown to include children's homes, schools, leper clinics, vocational and agricultural education, disaster relief, feeding programs, drilling water wells, and building churches. And at the heart of all of WME's work has been living out the Great Commission to take the news of salvation through Jesus to everyone we meet. The evangelism in World Missionary Evangelism is not just a part of our name. It defines our mission our focus, and is at the heart of everything we do.